Hi there, Ryan here, and I'm going to show you how to make a progress bar in Google Sheets. You'll learn how to make a simple progress bar based on percentages like this. You'll learn how to apply the same technique to multiple values. And you'll also learn how to make a progress bar even when you're not working with percentages. Okie dokie, let's get started. Say that you have a percentage and you want to create a progress bar to visualize it. Start by selecting the cell where you want your progress bar and enter the following formula. Equals sparkline function. Select the cell with the percent value. Next argument. Open bracket. Quote. Chart type. Quote. Comma. Quote. Bar. Quote. Semicolon. Quote. Max quote, comma, one, semicolon, quote, color one, quote, comma, quote, four B A C C six, quote, close bracket, close parentheses, and press enter. Now, if you are located in a country that uses a comma as your decimal separator instead of a period, then your formula will look like this instead. That being said, let's explore how this formula works. This formula uses the sparkline function to create a progress bar. The sparkline function can actually be used to create many different charts within cells. This is just one example. Now, whenever you use the sparkline function, the first argument will always be the data that you want to display. It can be the value itself or a reference to the range or cell that contains the data. The next argument is a list of options that tell the sparkline function how to display the data. And these options are name value pairs placed within brackets like this. Now, what do I mean by name value pairs? What I mean is that you have a name for a specific setting, like the chart type, and then a value for that setting. For instance, this first one tells the sparkline function that you want the chart type to be a bar chart. You'll also notice that a comma separates each name and its value. And for those working with the alternate formula, the name and value are separated by a backslash instead. Now, if you look at all of the options, you will see that there is a semicolon between each pair. And this is true for both versions of the formula. Now, the last detail that I want to draw your attention to is that any text value in these name value pairs must be placed in quotes. However, cell references and number values do not have to be placed in quotes. Okie dokie, now that we've covered the details, let's look at these last two name value pairs. First, we have max and a value of 1. This tells the sparkline function that for the bar itself, the maximum value should be 1. And that's what we want because 100% is equivalent to 1. Finally, we have color 1, which specifies the color of the bar itself and the value of 4BACC6, which is simply a color hex code that specifies the color that you see here. And you can always replace this hex code with a color name like green or light blue if you want to. I encourage you to play around with it. Either way, this is how you create a progress bar for a percentage in Google Sheets. Now, what about when you have more than 1% value? All you have to do is start at the top and enter a formula using the sparkline function like so. Then use the fill handle to copy the formula down for each percentage and you have all your individual progress bars. Now what do you do if you're not working with the percentage? For example, let's say that you have an actual amount and a goal amount and you want the progress bar to show the progress towards that goal. Well, just like before, select the cell where you want your progress bar to be and enter the same formula that we've been working with. 
As always, you reference the value that you want to plot, and then for the name value pairs, the big difference here is the max value. Instead of entering one, you want to reference the goal amount instead. Then just like that, you have a progress bar showing how close your actual amount is to your goal amount, and that's all there is to it. If you still have questions, let me know in the comments and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon in the next Spreadsheet Life video. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you tie